<laughs> I just ran into this. It's on a shelf where it doesn't belong, so I'm sure somebody probably looked it up and left it behind, but it's Shirley Temple, a little plate and a, and a little pitcher, and Goodwill wants $17.49 each for these. So for all those people, well, it was only one person, but I'm sure there's lots of them out there that were complaining that resellers come and go to Goodwill and snatch up all the good stuff. Come and get it. Here it is. You can you can have it for $18 each. There there they are. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me on another episode of Rami's Retro. We are at Goodwill on 91st Avenue in Northern today. Uh, just got out of work at my second job. So let's head on in and see what we can find. It is a busy Saturday, so hopefully there are stocking with some new carts and we find a lot of fun stuff. Let's okay, let's get going here and see what we got. Starting off with figurines. Little pilgrims, they're cute. That's kind of pretty. Oh, handmade, 2000. 249. She's got some chipping though on her little foot there. She's got another little chip right there. So I guess we'll leave that girl behind. Um, this looks cool. Oh, I thought it was metal, but it's actually pottery. Um, it's like studio pottery, not signed. Um, but the glaze is pretty. I like the flower. 449. I think that'll be our. There's this German plate that's hand painted. Um, and it's got all these, like, I guess different cities and stuff but it looks like unfortunately there's some chipping that's coming off it is wood and like this is actually chipping off the paint and stuff which is too bad it's 249 and i really like this middle portion but too much damage um 749 for that big chili <laughs> he's cute it's this metal yeah little metal tins for 249 they've got like a whitewash over the brass um, I'm not sure how much I like that. If they didn't have that, I would really, I would really like those. But I think we're gonna have to pass. Oh, cute little tiny butterfly. Oh, it's a little butterfly dish, or like a box, not a dish. You moron. Um, I really like that. It doesn't have a price. It looks like it doesn't have any breaks or anything either. Uh, maybe I'll throw that in the cart and see what they do. That's really cute. I like that. Uh, all white angel planter. I don't know how much he is. Uh, I think this guy we saw last time. Yeah, he's broken. It's been a while since we've been here. And oh, circle of friends candle holder. Oh, he's missing his arm. That's too bad. Five forty nine. That's so sad. That's this guy. 449. I like this. This looks like Portugal or Italy. Any breaks or anything on that? No. No. Oh, yes. Big chip right there. 449. Shucks. All right. Well, let's keep moving. This is a pressed glass, but it looks really cool. Um, I don't think it's old, but it's definitely got a retro look to it. And I think I'm going to take a chance on that guy for $4.49. I really like it. I love the color. Well, checking out the bags. There's a couple of metal, um, like copper trivets in here. It looks like they are really gross, but I wonder if they'll clean up. They're only $3.49. So I don't even know what that back one is. I can't tell what the shape is, but I mean, I know they don't have any chips or anything because they're metal. So I think we should take a chance on those. I found a couple of these over the past few trips to the Goodwill. It's like a little pasta holder ceramic. If it was part of the Lennox Bistro collection, it would be like $200. Um, but as it stands, it's probably 15 bucks. The ones that I've found though, have been really chipped and this one seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, so I think maybe for 549, I'm gonna pick this one. All right, kitchen, 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 kitchen stuff. My gosh, this is fantastically ugly. Um, it's six forty nine. I really, 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 really like it. Who makes this? I don't know. It does have some sort of writing there, but I can't make it out. I think it might be um, a hobbyist piece or a studio piece. It doesn't look like there's any chips or damage to it. I'm gonna get this for six forty nine. It's it's so hideous. I love it. Uh, what's this? Is this French or Pyrex or Viking, Anchor Hawking? Okay. 
Well, this is definitely coming with. All right, well, I found these little guys. Um, they're snack plates. I love the fishies. You know how I feel about fishies. I don't think they're Arcarok. I can't find a signature on them, but they are really pretty. Um, they need cups to go with them. So let's see if we can find the cups. I've got four of those plates. We are here in glass. That's more like fancy stemware glass. So we're not gonna find it there. I don't know, it's not looking good, you guys. Oh, that green is really pretty though. That's the only one though, huh? I like that. It's got some weight to it. I wish there were more of those. Well, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to put those guys back because I don't see any um, cups that will go into that little space. Uh, let's check out mugs really quick and see if there's any good stuff here. <clears throat> there's a New York mug, Starbucks. It's very um, damaged though, I think, from the dishwasher. So the Big Apple, it says inside, that's really cool. It's too bad that it's got the, the wear to it though. And I wanna see what this pink one is back here. Oh, that's kind of fun, 99 cents. Interesting little design on that. kind of cool. That's handmade. I don't see maybe Charlie. 99 cents. I really like that. There's a few of them. Oh, cool. All right, no damage. Looks like there's three. Boy, it would be nice if there were four for 99 cents. That's a terrific price. Am I only going to get three? Huh. I mean, I'm still going to get them, but four would be nice. Okay, well, I was going around the corner to put those fish back, and then I ran into this bag of little cups with handles, and it's $3.49. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I only need four, um, unless those are the cups for the fishy plates, and there's actually six fishy plates. Some, so now I'm wondering if there's two more. Now, I've already, I'm already $10 in with those fishy plates. Um, and then as I was coming around the corner, I found these lovely little dogs. How cute are those? They're salt and pepper shakers. They got little corks on the bottom. Um, and those are $4.49 and they're not damaged. I'm gonna get them before they become damaged because they are really cute. They're little lassies, they're little collie dogs. So I don't know, let's go down here and take another spin through the dishes and see if there's more fishies. Well, there were more fishies. So here's, here's two more I just put in the cart. And now there's even two more, but I wonder if these cups fit in that space. I mean, they do fit in that space. Oops, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. I'm sorry, what an idiot. I mean, they fit in that little spot. So you think I should go ahead and get six plates and six, six cups? The cups are 349. I mean, I think I should, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think that's a really cool little set for the summer with all the little fishies. I think we're gonna do it. All right, well, there's something back there and I wanna see what it is. So let me do some digging and moving of things. I can't do that one-handed, so I'll be right back. Well, it's a little mouse tray. Um, see how it's shaped like a mouse? I didn't quite get it at first, but there's a little nose in his eye. He's really cute. It's $6.49, um, no maker's mark or anything on it, but it's too adorable to pass up, so I am taking that. <laughs> I just ran into this. It's on a shelf where it doesn't belong, so I'm sure somebody probably looked it up and left it behind, but it's Shirley Temple, a little plate and a, and a little pitcher, and Goodwill wants $17.49 each for these. So for all those people, well, it was only one person, but I'm sure there's lots of them out there that were complaining that resellers come and go to Goodwill and snatch up all the good stuff. Come and get it. Here it is. You can you can have it for $18 each. There there they are. That's crazy talk. So Goodwill definitely does overprice their things sometimes to make money. So here's a really pretty original piece. I like the little apples in the apple basket by Marianne, um, but it's got some scratches and damage and the frame's a hot mess. 
249 but unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to leave that behind and here's the rest of wood not really too much going on here um i kind of tried to look peek through it without getting into too much trouble because it's quite precarious as always but nothing really here for for us um i think we'll pass on that guy too and then around the corner here we've got a little bit of wall hanging stuff but doesn't look like anything that's going to be good for us so i think i'm going to check out one more aisle candles and things and if i find something i'll get back to you otherwise we're probably going to head to the front all right well we found some fun stuff um these guys are nice brass um they are made in japan but i think they're home co um so 449 and 349 for those they're like a beehive kind of design um so i think we're definitely going to pick those up and then let's try to put them in here so they don't break anything. Um, and then I found two of these. And usually these tins um, from England are really scratched up when you find them at the thrift store. But these are actually in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those guys for $3.49. Um, that's a total score. I'm guessing they're $3.49 for both because only one's got a price on it. So I found these guys. There's two of this Washington plate. And then there's one... Um, Utah. Really cool, definitely vintage, but $6.49 each. And I was curious, so I looked them up, and I mean, they're listed on eBay between like $3 and $10. So, not going to get anything for those guys, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe a fountain? It must be a fountain. It's got a big chip on it. it. Reminds me of Castles and Coasters, though. It's like a, it's like a, an amusement park, a theme park kind of thing with Goonie Golf and stuff next to where I live. It's been there for a million years. Wow, wow. Okay, this is double wow. Like, look at this lamp. This is nuts. It's got some breaks in it, but like, it's a big, I don't know, tree vine thing. And then look at this lamp. It's probably a touch lamp, right? Like you touch it and it changes the brightness. It's actually really cool. They want $29.50 for it with the unicorns. It's very interesting. And there's a ceramic one back there with flowers. And there's this one, which actually is pretty cool. Kind of 80s with the iridescent for $9.49. So some cute lamps today. Nothing that we're going to pick up, but kind of... Okay, we forgot big art. So this looks like it might be an original watercolor from 1984. Ugh, heavy, beautiful frame. That's usually how you know that it's not just a print if they spent some money on the frame. And that sure does, come on phone, focus. That sure, oh, it's not focusing, is it? Oh, there we go, better, yeah. It definitely looks like it's real. 549 they want for this. Um, I think I'm gonna take a chance on that for 549 because I think it is real and I really like the way that it's framed and it's very pretty subject matter is lovely and there's this guy what's this uh, that's de grazia but i think that that is a print that's 549 also is that a print i mean it couldn't possibly be an original could it no because if it were an original it wouldn't have that little copyright sign there i wonder if it's worth anything though even as a print that roadrunner is kind of cool this frame is really banged up though I don't know. We'll think about that. We'll look into it. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is an original as well, and it's really cool, and it's very well done by Antonio or whoever did it down there. Um, but it's big. It's so big. Um, and it's $31.49. Um, but it is beautiful. So if you're close to the uh, Northern and 91st Avenue Goodwill, this is the place to go for ducks in flight well i looked this guy up and it looks like there's quite a few sold um some as high as 150 180 dollars i think i saw um but generally around probably 89 to 115 dollars so i think we're gonna pick this up for five dollars and 49 cents if somebody wants to change out the frame that's not too expensive to do um, but it's definitely really cool so i think we're gonna grab that and with that we are going to head on up to the front Got a pretty full cart here today. Well, I looked over as we were walking to the checkout and this happened. So I did grab this 
um, for six forty nine. It's a little music box, um, but it's really cool. So I think I'm definitely going to pick that up. Um, I hope it's not broken. It is taped, um, but I think that's just to keep it sort of not from not moving. I have a feeling it moves. So I don't know. We'll find out when we get home. I'm willing to take the chance. Let's scan the shelves really quick and see what we missed that she put out. And uh, if I find anything, I'll get back to you. Otherwise, we are definitely heading to the front, I promise. Well, there was also this carnival glass um, bowl. And I don't know what this pattern is called, but it doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything. It's very pretty. And $4.49, so I think we're going to grab that guy too and get out of here. Okay, total spend, $73. Uh, those snack dishes are amazing. That lobster plate is amazing. I guess it was a seafood kind of day. That's what the lady behind me and the cashier were joking about. Oh, you really like seafood, huh? Like, yeah, I guess so. Sorry. Um, the artwork, amazing artwork. I think that those are going to do really well. So I'm really excited. We had a really fun shopping trip. Thank you all for everything. Your likes, your subscribes. Uh, please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. I am on my way to 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 902 or 903 as I'm taping this. So come on, 1,000. Um, you've all been amazing. And um, until next time, be safe out there. And I will see you later. Bye.